Well, let's take a look at our current temperatures outside right now. Actually warmer than some of our high temperatures this time last week. Remember, we couldn't even get out of the 30s in some locations. But right now we're in the mid to low 40s out to the coast. Low 40s also along I-5. Central Oregon, though, the cool spot. Bend at freezing. Odell Lake near Willamette Pass, 24 degrees. Lapine at 29 degrees. Across the state, we've had those clouds out there. Also some breaks, though, in the clouds as well. You can see a few still out there. But we have the isolated showers moving through our area some snow showers at the higher elevations though accumulation was about an inch or so today so not too much however tomorrow we're looking at some more snow as we get another wave to swing on through tomorrow afternoon but what we still have going on this low pressure trough that moved in yesterday is still in control of our weather it's going to remain in control of our weather as we head into tomorrow keeping us in this unstable pattern we'll continue to see the showers now if you take a look back off to the west you can see this area of clouds here riding along the jet stream this is headed our way that's indicating some moisture out there which is moving our way and we're going to see it move through our area as we head into the second part of tomorrow bringing us some showers so once again the upper level low pressure system that you just saw still in control of our weather. It's going to be in control of our weather not only tomorrow, but also on Monday through Monday night. So we'll keep showers through about Monday night. But then things change as we head into Tuesday. High pressure is going to build into our area, and that means we're looking at dry conditions and slightly warmer air as well all the way through the end of the week. So playing this through on Precision Cast, starting it off this evening, you can see we still have a few light showers. There's some snow showers once again above about 2,500 feet or so. Putting it into motion into tomorrow morning, we're going to start off with those clouds. Also some areas of some fog, but nothing like we saw last week. Now putting into motion though the second half of the day, that's when that rain moves on in. Also snow at the higher elevations. Freezing level tomorrow will be around 2,500 feet again. So you're looking at snow above that, rain below that. But that area moves on out for the most part. We'll still keep a few light snow showers to start off your Monday. Keeping the showers, remember, all the way through Monday night before we see the changes. So along the coast tomorrow, we'll keep the showers on and off. But plenty of sun breaks as well. High temperatures are warm into the mid to upper 40s. Now we head into Monday, much of the same. Tuesday, though, showers wrap up early. Then we're looking at dry conditions for the second half of the day. Once again, high temperatures in the low 50s. Um, Club Basin, mid to upper 40s tomorrow. Showers on and off. Sun breaks as well, much like what we saw today, though we'll have heavier rain in the second half of the day. Similar conditions on Monday, wrapping up on Tuesday, then drying out Tuesday evening throughout the rest of the week. Now the Cascades, freezing level at 2,500 feet. You're looking at about four to nine inches of some snow above that. This is through tomorrow and tomorrow night. So we'll have the snow all the way through the overnight hours, continuing still as we head into Monday. Central Oregon, you'll keep the snow flurries out there, not looking at much in terms of accumulation, maybe an inch or so. High temperatures will only be in the upper 30s. We stay in the upper 30s for Monday with that isolated snow chance, but we dry things out starting on Tuesday. For the Valley, looking at highs in the mid 40s, showers on and off, plenty of sun breaks as well. Remember, the next wave moves through tomorrow afternoon, so you have a better chance of staying dry tomorrow morning. We'll keep the showers through Monday and the first part of Tuesday before finally we're looking at a drier trend to the towards the end of the week.